smart networking at home to be both smart and connected. So we called in our expert partners from Hartford Steam Boiler. They handled the installation of some really innovative home technologies. In this segment, they share the basics for building a smart, connected home. Norm, what is a connected home and why might a homeowner want to do this? In, in my mind, what the connected home is, is a home that has a network built into it um, that can support reaching out to the world and, and being connected to that, to that world. Um, it, it also, when, when, you, when you throw the term smart technology into that, the ability for that, that home to communicate with that network um, in the outside world and respond to it, turn lights on, uh, view cameras, um, get temperature sensors or water sensors that are in play. That's the connected home. It's a, it's a home that can reach out and can communicate back and forth with you when you're there or when you're not there. So Dave, what are some of the pieces of smart equipment that you are installing in this home and how did you decide what to install? Okay, so we have things like motion sensors, open door detection, uh, we have alarm systems, we have water detection, we have electricity monitoring, we have a water valve that would automatically shut off if it detects water. What, what am I missing here, Norm? <laughs> uh, we get cameras, we have uh, cameras, cameras to remotely monitor. The home entertainment is another piece that we, that we thought about here. Uh, we did put a speaker in play um, so that when, when you were to come into the house, maybe you can have the music set at a certain level. And then we have another interesting piece of technology that you can verbally um, say what you would like to happen and then the house would respond to that, like turn the lights on or play this music or do this for me and, and the house would respond to that. When you were designing the system for our home, what approach did you take? We're trying to cover the typical homeowner as well as the high-valued homeowner. So we have a few different installation approaches from the do-it-yourself aspect all the way to a professionally installed home automation approach. And I think just lastly to add to that, there's different goals like you mentioned. Uh, some of it is security, alarm systems, some of it is energy savings, electricity monitoring would be an example of that. Uh, some of it's safety, so it, it really depends on what you're trying to do. And, and as Liz said, we're trying to test it all in this environment so we become knowledgeable in all areas. Liz, if a homeowner wants to install smart technology, what are some of the things they need to think about first? I think the first thing, and we went through this when we were doing our research, is what's your priority? You, know, you may want to have a more secure home. You may want to have it appear as if you're home when you're away on vacation. Uh, we have talked about this quite a bit and budget is a primary thing that you need to consider because you can spend anywhere from $200 to thousands of dollars and it all depends on what your driver is. So I think the best advice I would say is plan ahead. I would sit back before I even took a look at the technology and I would say what am I willing to spend on this? You know, What's my budget um, and then what's my level of expertise? Um, and, and then I would go at it from that standpoint. I'm Shannon with American Moderns Living Wise. Come back to learn more about smart technology from our expert partners at Hartford Steam Boiler. In the meantime, join us at amig.com slash livingwise for inspiration, innovation, and information on smart, sustainable, and secure living. Join us for the journey.